Hey, good afternoon, Mower Medic One. Uh, today I'm going to do a request from YouTuber Bill SPC One asked me to do a uh, leak down test, pressure test on a two cycle engine. So let's get started. This test procedure pretty much will cover any two cycle engine to date. Uh, there'll be a few different engines that have. Uh, fresh air ports on the side of the cylinder on each side and you'll have to block those off but anyway what you want to do is remove the carburetor you're going to want to have a setup here like this uh, it's actually a carburetor block off uh, here's your rubber gasket that you're going to put here once you get your adapters on here you can actually bolt the carburetor back up here with that gasket that piece of rubber in there but it's a lot more cumbersome I like to use the spacers to take up the slack of the carburetor. Just torque it down. You don't have to torque it real tight. Just tighten it down as the same as you would uh, to tighten the carburetor back on. Next thing you want to do is you want to grab you one of these triangular pieces of uh, rubber block off. This is actually the Echo kit that I use uh, to, for this procedure. You can use the Echo kit on steel, any of them. But uh, what you want to do, you just want to loosen the muffler up and you want to block off the exhaust port shove that down in there and uh, make sure that the it's you know between the bolts real good and tighten it down and uh, as you're tightening it that rubber may try to squitch out of there but just get it as best you can Next you want to screw in the adapter for the spark plug hole and I actually have a pressure and vacuum pump that's actually a cooler engine part number 12050135 just pressure up the crankcase you don't want to go over 07 pounds but uh, as you can tell even though this engine is burned up the piston is scored that the cylinder is actually holding good pressure now, I'm going to do a vacuum test on it. Same thing, I uh, just moved my little furl down right here, just move it down for vacuum. I'm going to pull a vacuum, you may have to pump it quite a bit. The, depending on the size of the engine, the volume of the crankcase, but uh, that engine seems to be holding good pressure. A lot of times the needle will just fall right back up very quickly. Uh, if that happens, you want to get your air, I mean your spray bottle, you want to spray around here, uh, spray around where your gasket is here. Uh, the main parts that leak on a two cycle engine are going to be right here, if I get to stand up straight, let me get a pointer so I'll show you. The cylinder gasket will leak, um, sometimes the uh, adapter gasket will leak. Uh, underneath the starter are what we call crankshaft seals. Those seals will leak. There's one on this side and there's one on the other side of the engine that's actually a lipped seal. But uh, the only other spot that would leak would be right here where they split this crankcase in two. That gasket will sometimes leak. But uh, this covers probably about 80% of your two cycle engines when it comes to doing a leak and pressure test. If you get an engine that's uh, leaking, uh, that won't hold pressure or vacuum, uh, you need to, you know, replace those worn parts. Uh, if you have a crank seal go out, uh, you might want to check the crank bearing as well because it may be loose. Uh, the bearing may be bad, causing uh, excessive play up and down, which if you put a new seal on a bad crank bearing, uh, it's just going to fail within no time how long but uh, appreciate it Bill uh, for the uh, request and uh, y'all have a good day the more medic one thanks